I am Junkbot, your home assistant. Meet Hayat, a robot built from cardboard and the brainchild of this Dubai-based entrepreneur. Most of the kids have an impression that you know, robotics is hard, you know, it's not for me. But when they see a cardboard box you know, or a coffee cup you know, converted into robot, they, they start thinking, okay, this is something I can do. Established in 2015, JunkBot provides a simple do-it-yourself education kit containing electronic components and sensors that can attach to practically anything. It lets children make robots out of used household items like tissue boxes and even old shoes. Then a software application is used to program the robot from a smartphone. JunkBot's aim is to get children interested in robotics and in the critically important area of STEM education, which stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. 75% of the future job actually requires STEM skills, and 80% of the college students are not well prepared. So kids need hands-on experience. The startup puts its success down to the support it received from IN5, a creative space and mentorship facility in Dubai's Internet City. Established by the government, 24,000 people currently work in technology companies across this city. IN5 wants to attract more locally educated innovators and believes the government support and startups like JunkBot will help them achieve that. I think what's happening across the governments in the UAE uh, and the vision of the innovation and the Dubai strategy and the UAE strategy it is supporting what you, the, the, the education when it comes to, uh, to technology. Any innovation that happens across the region or any country has to be sustainable. The only way it will be sustainable is if you have uh, good, good talent coming into the market. Right now, JunkBot sells its kits to schools in the United Arab Emirates, online, and in retail across the Middle East region. It has global expansion plans with its core belief that every child can be an inventor. Samuel Burke, CNN, Dubai.